This is Joe Zekas from YoChicago.com. I'm headed for a spectacular rooftop penthouse with a panoramic view of Museum Park, Grant Park, and Millennium Park. It's on the top floor of the Crane Building, which was built in 1913, added to the National Register of Historic Places, and converted to condos 10 years ago. If you're looking at the building from ground level, you'll recognize it by the elaborate terracotta that defines the top floor. I stepped off the elevator directly into the unit, said a quick hello to the listing agent, Koenig and Stray's Mary Bennett, and headed directly for the terrace. Hitting the terrace was a real rush. It's on two levels. It's larger and has more greenery than most city lots, and it has just absolutely spectacular views in every direction. I've seen Chicago's lakefront from many vantage points, both high and low, from helicopters, from hundreds of airline flights, from penthouses high atop the soaring sky rises. But it never gets old, and I have to say this is one of the best views of the lakefront that I have ever seen. I took a closer look at some familiar sites, the Great Wall of High Rises fronting the north end of Grant Park, Navy Pier, Buckingham Fountain, Monroe Harbor, Frank Gehry's Pritzker Pavilion, the lighthouse outside Monroe Harbor, the fountain that bisects the formal gardens, the Metro Train, the Shedd Aquarium and the Adler Planetarium, the Field Museum, the Agora at the south end of Grant Park, and of course the towers of Museum Park 1 and 2. Back inside, I made a quick pass through a few of the rooms in the unit on my way to check out the views from the West Terrace. It's gorgeous. It has everything you'd expect in a unit that's priced at more than $2 million, and it's definitely worth a visit if it's in your price range and if you like the South Loop. The West Terrace opens off the master bedroom and has great vistas over the Loop skyline. It can also be accessed via a walkway along the south side of the building. 